Welcome to lesson three um, uh, of chemistry of aromatic compounds. Uh, in this lesson, we shall look at uh, reactions of benzene. My name is uh, Peter Karori. Now, uh, in, uh, uh, in lesson uh, one and two, uh, in lesson one, we looked at uh, introduction and aromaticity, where uh, we looked at uh, what we understand by aromaticity and what type of compounds are considered to be aromatic. And we found that uh, what differentiates aromatic compounds from the rest of the compounds, uh, of the organic compounds, is uh, their extra stability due to delocalization of electrons within the ring. Um, now, in lesson two, we looked at nomenclature, the naming systems of uh, uh, benzoid aromatic compounds. So, in this uh, lesson, um, we shall be looking at the reactions uh, of uh, benzene uh, as, as a compound and uh, looking at how aromaticity in benzene affects its reaction. So uh, the content objective uh, of this lesson is to explain mechanism of reduction of benzene, uh, describe uh, mechanisms of electrophilic aromatic substitution, which we can um, uh, uh, symbolize as uh, uh, EAS reactions, uh, write equations to show the general specific uh, nucleophiles, uh, for electrophilic aromatic uh, substitution reactions, uh, that is uh, including th th these include uh, halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, nitrosation, and Friedel Crafts uh, reactions. Um, so, moving on, we look at uh, we start by looking at reduction of benzene. Now, when we, we were looking at lesson one, we observed that uh, uh, we, we observed some of the uh, reactions of benzene comparative to uh, those other organic compounds that would be considered to have double bonds. And we say so that uh, the stabilization of double bonds in benzene is different in that it does not ordinarily uh, undergo uh, oxidation reactions. And uh, Another thing, uh, one of the, the observations in addition uh, reactions that we observed is that although hydrogenation can happen in benzene, then it can only happen under stringent conditions. And as the equation uh, here shows, is that benzene can be hydrogenated, but at very high temperatures of 170, 170 degrees and in the presence of uh, catalyst. Either you can have a nickel catalyst or palladium uh, a metal catalyst. Uh, similar to, that is a, a reaction which is similar to hydrogenation of all other um, uh, unsaturated uh, compounds. So, uh, this reaction of hydrogenation of nickel pure, uh, pure uh, benzene in the presence of hydrogen catalyst, uh, hydrogen um, uh, gas and nickel catalyst at 70 degrees would give you a cyclohexane, uh, which is an alkane which, and non-aromatic. Similarly, if you have a substituted benzene in the presence of a, a palladium uh, catalyst at nine atmospheres and 150 degrees centigrade, then you could be successfully oxidize it uh, into uh, uh, hydroxy uh, cyclohexene and further the, the hydroxy uh, cyclohexene um, would undergo what is referred to as keto it, uh, you know, uh, uh, tautomerism where the OH group can lose hydrogen and form uh, a keto group uh, and the double board opens so that the hydrogen 
uh, joins uh, in one of the positions of the double board. Um, uh, so those are possibilities. So th the hydrogenation of pure benzene should result into uh, hexane, while the hydrogenation of uh, phenol, which is uh, hydroxy uh, benzene, should um, result into a hydroxy uh, uh, cyclohexene, which uh, has the capacity to undergo ketoino tautomerism. Now, uh, so that, that is, uh, so what we have looked at is the ordinary reduction, which happens also to other alkenes. Now, a spe specialized hydrogenation is where we are able to hydrogenate um, benzene in one position so that instead of uh, the structural triple board that is representative of benzene, we add up with uh, cyclohexadiene. And that can happen uh, in the presence of sodium metal and ammonia, uh, and, uh, in the, and uh, um, uh, also in the presence of butyl, tertiary butyl hyd uh, hydro uh, hydroxide. Um, and uh, that is what is referred to as Bash reduction. Uh, due to the person who discovered the reaction, who was an Australian chemist uh, known as Bash. Now, looking at uh, the mechanism, you find that what happens is that um, the, reduc the, the reduction of uh, benzene in the presence of uh, sodium metal uh, in the, and ammonia uh, plus, um, say, uh, ethanol, would give you, uh, would have the addition of one molecule of hydrogen per molecule of benzene at either position 1, 4, or as we have seen um, in the earlier reaction, we can ho also have a little bit of 1, 3 uh, dihydroxycyclohexadiene. Uh, so, where, uh, but no other uh, product. So what catalyzes, uh, what um, favors that reaction is that um, the metal, the metal being uh, a, a, a good electron donor as it forms uh, a positive uh, cation, donates its electron to the benzene ring so that benzene ring becomes an anion, electron rich. Uh, which uh, then, together with the metal, uh, forms uh, um, uh, an, a, an ionic compound. Now, the, hydro, uh, the, the alcohol um, uh, the molecule uh, in the mix is able to donate a hydrogen to the benzene ring so that um, you have uh, one of the carbons uh, opening up its double board, and the, uh, the electron um, is uh, either positioned in the para position or in the other position. And the, the, the resulting anion then uh, replaces the benzene anion from the metal so that um, you add up uh, with, uh, with three resonance structures, two of which are similar because the uh, electron is in uh, another position, and one which is uh, where the electron is dissimilar. But you look at, if you look at the stability, is that the one where the electron is at the para position is more stable uh, because of the symmetry and um, uh, uh, where the electron is far from uh, the disubstituted carbon. And so that is why you find that um, when another hydrogen adds, the more stable carbonium ion is the major product, that is the 1,4 um, um, substituted uh, um, re re reduction product as opposed to the minor product where we can have the uh, hydrogen substituting at position 2 or the other position. Now, 
So that, that is generally about reduction. What is the general mechanism of electrophilic sub substitution reaction? So the reactions we have looked at earlier are addition reactions. In uh, both addition rea in both reduction reactions, we are adding hydrogen. In that case, uh, it's, uh, we are having reactions similar to those of alkenes. But benzene generally does not undergo reactions similar to those of alkenes. And as we had seen earlier, benzene is a very stable molecule due to resonance. And because it always tries to sustain, uh, to sustain uh, or to keep its uh, resonance structure, the easier method of uh, reaction in benzene, or the most preferred reaction uh, method, is a substitution reaction where hydrogen is replaced by an electrophile, a group that is seeking uh, electrons. And an electrophile is certainly a positive recharged group because positive recharged groups are the ones that uh, seek electrons. So what happens is that uh, the, the, um, if you consider benzene as, um, as uh, one having alternating double bolts, although uh, the double bolts themselves are at resonance, now if you look at where they are in one, a double bolt is in a specific location, then the high electron density uh, will tend to attack an electrophile so that the, when the electrophile attaches, one position then becomes um, saturated, but the positive charge from the electrophile then will go to the next position. Then the hydrogen gives away its electron so that it is released as a proton and the uh, board uh, the, the pair of electron closes in to form the third double board uh, whereby now you, uh, we can look at it as a, hexa tri, uh, a, a cyclohexatriene which, in which the double boards are, 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 are resonating and therefore uh, we end up with a substituted benzene molecule. So that is the general mechanism uh, of substitution in benzene. And that is what happens in most of uh, the substitution reaction. So we start with the halogenation. Now, halogenation is where we ha add group seven uh, uh, elements. That is, uh, could be fluorine, chlorine, um, bromine, or iodine. Now, uh, we, um, generally, the, the best examples, uh, fluorine being the most electronegative element, of course, has the capacity to, 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 uh, to, uh, to polarize a ring. And so it is not a good example. So the best examples of, of electrophilic substitution reaction are bromination and chlorination. Now, bromination and chlorination can take place. But noting that uh, chlorine and bromine are relatively highly electronegative. Um, and f for a group to be able to attack the benzene ring, then it must form uh, a positive uh, ion. Ordinary reactions between bromine, bromine or chlorine, as happens in alkenes, are not possible. But in the presence of catalysts, uh, e.g. Uh, a Lewis acid catalyst in the uh, form of uh, ion uh, tetrachloride, bromine and chlorine can form electrophiles, which then uh, are able to substitute hydrogen, so that that hydrogen uh, joins one of the chlorine atoms from the diatomic uh, molecule, and uh, the other chlorine uh, uh, a radical is able, uh, more, uh, is, uh, or chlorine anion is able to join to the benzene ring. This uh, uh, time in form of uh, an electrophile. So, for you to react halogens with uh, uh, with uh, benzene, then you must be able to um, form electrophiles. And the presence of the catalyst, the Lewis acid catalyst, what the Lewis acid catalyst does is that it tends to polarize the halogen um, molecule. So in this case, we use a bromine uh, diatomic molecule. In the presence of the Lewis catalyst, it is polarized so that 
one of the bromine atoms becomes um, an electrophile and then it adds itself to the benzene ring in a similar way as we had shown in the addition of uh, electrophiles. So uh, chlorination, just like bromination, can take place in a similar way. Now, when it comes to addition of iodine, iodine is uh, less electronegative. It is the least electronegative of the three. That is, if you compare chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So, um, bromine, uh, iodination uh, requires a uh, less uh, uh, stringent uh, catalyst and can take place in the presence of nitric acid. So that uh, iodine, in the presence of nitric acid can uh, add to a, 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 a benzene molecule. So for the iodine to be able to add, then we must form a, um, a new, uh, an electrophile. The, and the formation of electrophile is where, you see, two hydrogen iodides can be seen as uh, I mean, to, uh, an iodine molecule in the presence of uh, nitric, uh, nitric, uh, nitric acid and in the in, in presence of uh, uh, protons can ionize so that the iodine forms two nucleophiles. One molecule of iodine forms two nucleophile uh, cations. A nit uh, uh, NO2, um, a nitro group, and water. So that this then, the electrophile, then is able to add in a similar way as we have shown in the addition of uh, electrophiles. Nitration. Now, the nitration uh, of, be uh, of benzene is the addition of an NO2 group. An NO2 gr group is a natural uh, electrophile because uh, the two oxygens tend to draw a lot of electrons from nitrogen and therefore we have uh, a net positive charge to nitrogen which then acts as um, a, a, an electrophile. So the, 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 the important step in the mechanism is that step in which we form the NO2 group and the NO2 group is formed from nitric acid, but that can only happen in the presence of sulfuric acid. So nitration of a benzene ring takes place in the presence of a mix of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, so that the NO2 um, uh, group uh, radical is formed, and the NO2 radical is then the one that acts as the electrophile, which adds in a similar way as any other electrophile. So the, nit uh, the, the formation of the nitro group follows whereby nitro uh, sulfuric acid ionizes into uh, a hydrogen uh, sulfate uh, anion and a hydrogen uh, cation. The hydrogen cation um, joins in one of the OH groups, in the OH group that is joined to the NO2 in nitric acid, so that uh, generally what it does is that it uh, displaces a water molecule from nitric acid, and you have the NO2 group plus a water molecule. So this then, the NO2 group, which is an electrophile, adds... Um, in a similar manner as any other uh, 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 nucleophile. So you can see, actually, the, 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 the electrons should um, attack the positive charge. Then you have an intermediate, and then uh, the hydrogen ions, uh, the hydrogen ion here will break and add there, as we've seen in ele uh, general electrophilic addition. And then you end up with um, uh, with uh, an, a, a benzene, a nitrobenzene. Sulfonation. Sulfonation is the addition of a sulfonic group uh, so, uh, so that you form benzene sulfonic acid. Now, sulfonation uh, generally requires uh, 
uh, the presence of conch sulfuric acid uh, at ordinary temperature. In that, the molecules of sulfuric acid are able to ionize themselves at normal temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. And what you need are two molecules of sulfuric acid so that the two molecules ionize in this manner. One forms as, uh, hydrogen as sulfate, uh, an ion. Then the other one, uh, the, the, it loses the hydrogen here, so that this hydrogen then uh, displaces uh, displaces one of the hydrogen and an oxygen from the next sul uh, sul sulfuric acid and you add up uh, with an SO3 group which uh, has a positive charge and the SO3 group is the one that now acts as an electrophile in the addition so this is the uh, so this hydrogen from the ionization of sulfuric acid joins to the OH group of uh, the next molecule of sulfuric acid and uh, the water molecule dissociates so that you have SO3H group which then uh, whereby then um, the hydrogen ion uh, dissociates um, and you have an SO3 uh, electrophile uh, which then uh, adds to the benzene uh, ring in the normal way. So it is attacked by the own pair, uh, by the pair, uh, by the pi electrons, uh, forms an intermediate, and the intermediate uh, crosses in so that uh, you have uh, uh, this molecule. So then we look at Friedel Crafts alkylation and acylation. Alkylation is the addition of an alkyl group. Uh, an alkyl group is basically an alkyl radical. Now that alkyl radical is uh, um, uh, is uh, derived from a halogeno alkane. So that if you displace a halogen from a halogeno alkane, then you add up with a, a, an alkyl group. Now that addition of the alkyl group to the benzene ring is what is referred to as alkylation. While if you have an acyl group that is a, a carbonyl group that is short of one hydrogen in the in the carbon bearing uh, the carbonyl carbon, then that is what we call an acyl group. So if instead of a hydrogen uh, in the uh, um, uh, carbonyl carbon, you have um, a halogen attached to that carbon, then you talk about an as, uh, acyl halide. Uh, if you have an alkyl, alkyl group uh, joined to a uh, halogen, uh, then you have an alkyl halide. So alkylation takes place when an alkyl group from an alkyl halide adds to a benzene ring, while ac acylation takes place when an acyl group from an acyl halide adds uh, to, uh, to a benzene ring. That addition, both alkylation and acylation, um, requires um, a, a, a aluminium trichloride catalyst. Um, uh, that is a Friedel Crafts um, catalyst. And what happens is that the um, catalyst, the metal, uh, uh, the metal compound uh, uh, catalyst, uh, tends to ionize both an acyl group and an alkyl group, as we shall, so, uh, we shall be able to show in this reaction mechanism. So if I start with uh, an alkyl halide, what happens is that the metal in the uh, uh, Friedel Crafts uh, catalyst um, uh, <coughs> uh, tends to take away the halogen from the alkyl group so that the, the halogen attaches itself um, through, um, 
coordinate covalent bonding, so that then you are left with an alkyl radical, which is then uh, which is positive recharged and adds itself to uh, to the benzene ring. Similarly, alkylation takes place in a similar manner. But it is important to, to note that um, if the R plus group, before it adds here, uh, the R plus group can uh, undergo some, uh, some re uh, deformation so that the, 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 the charge, the positive charge, can uh, relocate to different locations. And so, so and a, a, a feudocraft alkylation can form uh, a mixture uh, of uh, alkyl substituents. However, when it comes to acylation, uh, the reaction uh, does not have, uh, uh, does not undergo uh, deformation of uh, the acyl group, but the acyl group will add itself to the benzene ring um, just the way it was uh, when it was attached to a halogen. Now, the steps in Fred Friedel Krauss acylation are four steps. Step one involves a situation whereby then the catalyst plucks off the halogen from the acyl halide so that you are left with an acyl radical which is uh, on uh, an acyl anion, uh, uh, cation which is positively charged at the position of the carbon so that uh, this acyl uh, radical or the, the acyl cation is then attacked by the pi electrons of the benzene ring um, and uh, the same way it attacks any other electrophile and it joins itself forming uh, an intermediate and the intermediate uh, is concluded when the hydrogen from uh, one, one of the hydrogen, the hydrogen in the place where the acyl group opens up the benzene ring is is um, attacked by the lone pair of electrons in chlorine uh, within the met metal cat uh, catalyst complex so that the board closes in and then you add up with your benzene ring uh, phenyl group attached to an acyl group. So the net effect is that you add up with um, a, um, uh, a ketone, um, um, a ketone in which uh, one of the substituents on the carbonyl carbon is a phenyl ring. So, there is, so this can be a continuous process because the regenerated uh, catalysts can attack the carbonyl oxygen forming uh, complexes. Uh, however, um, the, uh, the elimination of uh, the catalyst so that you don't end up with a, cut, uh, with, with, uh, with a complex, but rather because you are interested in the acylation product, uh, the, the presence of water helps to eliminate, so the addition of water helps to eliminate the metal, uh, the, 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 the catalyst uh, from uh, uh, forming a complex with the uh, carbonyl oxygen. So um, that uh, generally brings us to the general, uh, uh, the, the, the general electrophilic aromatic substitution reactor, examples of electrophilic aromatic substitution where we have looked at uh, Reduction. We have looked, uh, reduction is an addition reaction. Well, we have looked at uh, 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 addition of a nitro group, uh, nitration. Uh, where we have looked at uh, sulfonation, and where we have looked at uh, alkylation and acylation, of uh, as examples of electrophilic aromatic substitution. So, exercise questions. Um, by use of reaction mechanisms, show how the following transformations are carried out. Addition of benzene to nitrobenzene, which we have shown. 
benzene to ethyl benzene, benzene to nitroso benzene, benzene to benzene sulfonic acid, benzene to iodo benzene. Uh, explain the following uh, by use of appropriate structures and equations for the craft's alkylation, we have shown. Uh, in nitrogen of, uh, uh, the, uh, show how the nitrogen of benzene uh, in the presence of uh, sulfuric uh, acid. And that is the end of lesson three uh, in the chemistry of aromatic compounds. Uh, thank you. We are in a digital era and Mount Kenya University knows this. The following are the steps to follow so as to complete your online application. Download the application form from the website www.mku.ac.ke. Attach copies of your academic certificates and ID. Pay the application fees via M-Pesa pay bill number 270988. Your ID is the account number. 2,000 shillings is the charge for a postgraduate. You can also deposit in the bank accounts provided on the website. Then, email all the above to apply at mku.ac.ke.